Hello everyone. Good morning. Namaste. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, everyone, please take care as Corona cases are increasing again. Today, we are going to discuss the differences of some important SIP requests. Uh, just to reiterate this differences are asked in interviews as well so it's going to be important before we start the video and today's session i would request the new viewers viewers to subscribe to my channel like and share the video comment on the video uh, and let me know if you want me to discuss any other topic on priority so let's start the first SIP request that I would like to share the differences and discuss or discuss the differences are invite and re-invite so invite is the initial SIP request sent by the calling party and it invites the called party for a session remember the first basic call flow where the calling party sends the SIP request uh, a SIP invite to the called party so that's the initial invite now what's a re-invite a re-invite is sent after a session has been established so your call starts with an invite ends with ACK uh, uh, and after ACK, you will see uh, RTP uh, session has been established. But after that, if you want or if the session needs some changes in the SDP parameters, then a re invite has to be sent. Best examples are suppose you want to put a user on hold or you want to forward the call. You want to switch your audio only call to video call, you need a re invite. Your session has been established or, or every, already. Both the parties are talking to each other, but one party needs to put the call on hold. Then a re invite is needed. It will contain the SDP parameters uh, to initiate the on hold of a call. Again, to go off hold, you will need a reinvite. So these are the examples where you will need the reinvite. How you will you will differentiate between an invite and reinvite is first thing is invite does not contain a two tag. It is also called a remote tag. It does not reinvite contains a two tag. Second difference is the C sec number, the C sequence number of invite will be lesser than the reinvite so other way around is reinvite will have an incremental c sequence number of the original invite if your invite contains the c, c sequence number of 100 then the reinvite will have the c sequence number of 101 now but how will you understand that this reinvite is belongs to the same initial invite both will have the same call id the call ID will remain same. So these are the differences and way to understand if it's an invite or re-invite and what is the use of re-invite. Okay. So let's see a call flow. We'll be able to understand. So I have a sample call flow where you will be able to understand why where is invite and re-invite in the picture. So if you see this first invite, this is the beginning of the call. The calling party is inviting the called party for a session and sending an initial invite. See here, the call has been established already because both the parties has exchanged 200 OK and ACK, after which the RTP or the media starts. But here, the called party is putting the call on hold it's starting the call uh, starting to put the call on hold so it sends a re-invite with the connection element having the IP address 0000 so this is where re-invite is needed 
and again the called party is going to put the call off hold it's going to start the uh, uh, conversation again then it sends the reinvite with the proper IP address where the media has to be established so this is the invite and reinvite now one of the important questions asked in the interview is what is the difference between reinvite and update so the common thing is both are used or used to change the SDP parameters of a session both can be used to change the SDP parameters of session but what's the difference a reinvite comes after a session has been established as you guys so in the previous call flow see our session has been established already from invite to act after that the RTP uh, uh, begins then a reinvite comes so this comes after a session has been established but update can be used before a session has been established or a final response has been received so it comes between invite the initial invite and 200 ok see so it comes between invite and 200 ok so update can be used to change the sdp parameters of a session before a session has been actually established so this means before the called party has answered the call it's still signaling is going on update can be used to change the sdp parameters codec and all now one more thing is a reinvite can wait for a response it does not need say immediate response after we receive a reinvite a reinvite but update needs a immediate response that's why it cannot be used after the session has been established why a reinvite might wait because sometimes it needs a user intervention or user authorization where update cannot wait examples you, you, you have called your one of your friend you guys are talking on an audio only call but you felt that let's start a video call and you switch to your audio only call to a video call in that case the person who starts this video call request that person will send a re-invite to the other side having the SDP parameters of uh, in the SDP parameter m equal to video call now it depends on the called party side whether he wants to switch the audio call to a video call or not he has to accept or reject that session if he accepts video call will start if he rejects video call will not start so that might need some time the user the call party will think whether should I start the video call or not it completely depends on the called party or the person who receives that request so the reinvite might uh, can wait since you know it needs the authorization of user update needs to be answered immediately so it cannot be sent after a session has been established and the third important difference I'll discuss is between buy and cancel so remember the first SIP basic call flow buy comes after a session has been established and then you want to terminate the session so you guys are both par parties are talking and now the conversation is over one party wants to disconnect the call and then buy comes into picture but what if you call someone and you want you felt after two rings that let's uh, talk to this person later and you disconnected the call after two rings in that case since the session has not been established yet a cancel will be sent to terminate the session so cancel is used to terminate a non established session or where the final response has not been received right uh, a missed call scenario you are giving a missed call to someone after one ring you disconnected the call that's when since the other party does not got a chance to connect the call and accept the call a cancel will be sent now the buy contains from tag to tag call id which are called dialog ids a cancel contains transaction id which is a brand branch id in the via header so this is the difference buy receive buy is received or sent after a media has been established but cancel is received when your media has not been established yet so this is all for today everyone uh, be safe and have a great day bye bye